Good morning, everyone. It's Kelly here, and we are here in the Bahamas. We have Finn and Zeke here. Hey, Finn, don't harass your older brother. Be good. Zeke's an old man right here, and he's got the best spot in the house on the beanbag. Finn is actually one years old, and he's just a big puppy. But these are Stephanie's dogs, aka Freediver Steph on YouTube and Instagram, um, and her boyfriend Cole uh, work on her beautiful sailboat called Say La Vie. And in this video, we're going to be targeting. Hey! Dogs! Hello! I'm trying to film here. Shush. Lionfish and diving down and picking up conch. Now, back home in Florida, conch is super illegal to harvest, bring home, or anything like that. But here in the Bahamas, we can eat them and make world famous bohemian conch fritters. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. We're gonna grab some lionfish, some conch, and then we're gonna go to the beach, clean the conch, which is harder than you think. It looks super easy, but it's kinda tricky. Um, and then we're gonna come back to the boat and make conch fritters. So right now, we'll see you guys underwater. Sea biscuit. Okay. We're here. Okay. Sure. So pretty. Yeah, these are great. 
Should we go try to get the black? Do you want to try? Why is it go sort over one more time? Okay, let me drop these off at the boat. Yeah. So as you guys can see down there, there is a pretty decent sized black grouper swimming around. Now black grouper are extremely smart fish and if given the opportunity to shoot one, you better take it. So we're keeping an eye on him, we're following him around this coral head, and he just does not stop moving. What you want with grouper is you want them to rock up under a ledge. That way you have a few moments to breathe up, dive down, and hopefully pin them against the rock and shoot them within five seconds of seeing them before they see you first. Now there was about five coral heads, about 60 to 70, maybe even 80 yards apart down here. And as you can see here, he's making a run for it. He's swimming across the sand, going to the other coral head, which is in fact against the current. <laughs> so we're like, you know what, let's go chase this fish for a little bit, see if he provides us with an opportunity to shoot him. So fast forward a little bit, he swims across the sand and goes to the other coral head. All right, so we're at the other coral head, and this has been going on probably for about 15, 20, 25 minutes. Um, I'm not showing all the footage because it's just a lot of footage. Um, so this is just a short story. He goes under this ledge. The thing with the ledges down here in the Bahamas and these reef structures, big coral heads, is the ledge could be a foot deep, and he could be chilling right there in front of you, or the ledge could be 40 feet deep, and you lost him. So I dive down, check out this little hole here, hoping he swam into it, however, nope, it's kind of open, he's not there, he's on the other side. So I swim back up, try to recalculate where he is, but as I do that, he darts over to the other coral head where we just came from, as you guys can see here, he's on a mission. So we continue to follow him one more time, he goes into the ledge once again, um, but he stays in there for like probably about... 20 seconds, so I'm like, all right, he might be rocking up. I dive down, load my pole spear, and go into the ledge, hoping he will reveal himself. However, as you guys can tell, once I get under this ledge, it is huge under there. I mean, it's like a whole house, living room, kitchen, and all. So he's just disappeared into this big coral head here. So this is when we had to call the hunt. This fish won, so black grouper won. Kelly zero. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> So it's been a minute since I've cleaned the call. Matt's already going at it. But you wanna put a hole, like an inch hole, in between the second and third horn. That's what Stephanie was saying. So right here on this conch, we're gonna use the back end of a hammer, break the shell until you get that little hole, and you'll take a knife, insert it into the conch, and just break the conch free from the shell. And then you'll just pull the conch right out. There you go. Beautiful. Yep. Good. 
Then you're gonna, so now you can see the muscle right here. Yeah. So now you're gonna wanna take the butter knife. And see how the shell's right there, the pink? Yeah. You're just gonna put it straight down. Apply it. And Apply slide it. it. Slide it down and then back and forth. Slide it down and back and forth. So you're just removing the muscle from the shell. This is like the hardest part. It's yeah. so funny. It's like, it seems so easy and it's like, wait. You watch the Bahamians do it and you're like, why can't I do it like Literally, that? Literally, the Bahamians will clean these conch like, do, 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 done, done, done. And you work your way all the way down. That, no, that's all. That's all you do. So if you've done it correctly, when you flip the shell over, grab the foot, it should pull straight out. Moment of truth. Did you release it from the conch? And just grab that foot and pull straight out. <gasps> you did it! <laughs> Good right. job! Good job! Dang. And then since that's your first conch that you've cleaned, <laughs> now you gotta eat the pistol. Yes! <laughs> have you eaten one, Seth? Yes, I have. Uh, How horrible is it? Nah, not bad. It gives you, you strength. Do you know what it is? <laughs> is the intestine? No. Nope. <laughs> the penis? <laughs> yes. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Oh, Bahamian yeah. aphrodisiac right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Nicely done. I just swallowed it. I didn't yep. <laughs> That's the way to do, <laughs> That's it. Way to do it. I've never eaten one. All right, Kelly, I feel like you have I have to do to it. To now. Oh man. He did that too well. He did that way too well. <laughs> so right here. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Put it on there, give it. Yeah. Perfect. And you can toss this out. Dang, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, he's not happy. I can't see. There it goes. I think that hole's big enough. He's trying. Oh, there's a bunch of sand he's spitting up. Yeah, that's, that's good. Interesting. All right. All right. Moment of truth. Yep. Yeah, I am not confident. So just straight down first. You want to see the little pink on the inside. Do you want me to go that? and slide it straight down? Yep, beautiful. Back oh, and wait. forth. Yeah. Felt kind of good. <laughs> All right, we're about to I don't think I did it. I probably go a little bit more before you pull. Yeah. Yeah. He's stuck in, like, he is way up in there. Hold on, I gotta get a good grip. I need some pliers. <laughs> Just loosen him more. Just loosen him more. He's like so tucked up in the. Sh he must have. Wait, do Kong grow with their shell? Do they contract yeah. in there? Yeah. Yeah, he's like way deep in there. I thought he was like, oh, he just. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I think and I. Then turn the knife around the other way and go the other yeah, yeah. So There you go. Dude, Bahamas, the Bahamians just go. Boop. They know exactly, exactly what it feels like to release it. That felt better. Hey, let me see. I can't get him. Dude, mine is like, mine is, mine's way more stubborn yeah. than yours. <laughs> Commercial break. Yeah. That's where the ads come in. Yep. Steph did some little magic with the knife there. He's coming. If I had pliers, I'd be able to get him out. He's just super strong. There you go. Wiggle. Yeah, get close. Oh my gosh. Why are you so strong? <laughs> Dude, this conch is just not released yet, huh? So stubborn. There it is. There, put some effort you got into him, you it. Got him. Come there on. There it is. Oh. oh. <laughs> there he goes. Bring himself back in. Two. Hardest conch ever to ever clean. Dude, all right, come here, muscles. Pull this thing out. That means it's gonna be more delicious. <laughs> right? I want him to go back in. See if you, you can pull him out. Did you get him? We think we did. <laughs> Matt will teach us all how to do this. <laughs> right? First time ever cleaning conch. Okay, this is tough. This is a tough conch. This is a tough conch. This is going to be a good critter. <laughs> so back in Key West, you guys know Will, aka Cooking with Clams on YouTube. He showed Steph. He actually was a chef on Steph's boat for a while. Um, but he showed her this really cool recipe for conch fritters. So. Moment of truth. Got this. Coming out of there. It's like talking. 
Oh, yes. There he goes. Yes. He's tough. He's gonna be a tough. He's gonna be now, like. Now, now you have to eat it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Man. Yeah. Now you gotta eat it. Unless it was already obliterated. It might already be obliterated. Oh, there is still some. Yeah, Kelly. Oh, gross. Have you eaten one? No. Yes. Her I'm... first pistol. That oh, it's only the, it's, a, <laughs> it's only the tip. <laughs> it's only the tip. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's like spaghetti. She had like I just swallowed spaghetti. it. I couldn't chew it. I oh, couldn't I chew it. Either. I just swallowed it. That's so funny. Oh my god. Nice. All right, who's doing the third one? Sweet. Mama Mom? Dukes. Oh. Whoops. Tiki, you want some conk? <laughs> He's such a good boy. Seekers, you want some conk? Now straight down and then slide it along the shell. So you're gonna try to see. If you want to try to see? Let me show you real quickly. Like you want to see the pink. See that pink right there? Yeah. On the inside. So you want to get right down to there and then slip it down. Release it. There you go. And I have no idea what it feels like, but you're supposed to detach it from the shell. You'll feel like. When I felt, when I did mine, it just kind of like glided and it started yeah. Yeah. separating. Yeah. That's what I thought I felt, but I don't know what happened. I think it looks like you might have got it. See if you can pull them out. Well, yours is up in there too. And then you want to grab the foot. He's up there tight. <laughs> Still be stuck. I heard, I think it's more toward the more tip. Toward the lip. Yeah, the lip of the shell. I always thought it was more toward the back. I feel like. I am not a professional comp cleaner, I'll tell you that right now. None of us are. Yeah. None of us are. What's up, Matt? Just pretty good. Yeah, Matt is pretty good. <laughs> First timer. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> thing is tough. I would over. normally sit there all day yeah. doing this until I got yeah. it. Yeah. You down there? need a bigger okay. hole. Right? Not the con king? I think yeah. that's a problem. It was good. It's a nice relaxing chill day. Okay. Let's see. The exception of the power series yeah. and the mobs. And... Welcome to the Bahamas. Oh, you guys, this is Chris, by the way. Hey, guys. <laughs> he is Steph's intern. He just kind of helping um, around the sailboat. Are you, like, learning how to sail or just kind of... Yeah, learning it all. Yeah, awesome. spear fishing, free diving, sailing. Everything, the whole gig. So. Well, that's awesome. So he's on our crew. Today he took Matt's rental car from South Eleuthera and drove it up to North Eleuthera because, obviously, we can't bring the car on the sailboat, so somebody had to yeah. sacrifice their day and drive it... Um, up here to North Elythra. Ah! She got it! All right. <laughs> yeah, with a little bit of help from my friend. <laughs> Teamwork makes a dream work, baby. So oh, yeah. No, mom's not doing that. Yes, mom is doing it. Oh, you gotta do it. Mom has you have done to. too many other things in her life. <laughs> hey, what's the other answer? Oh, he's gone. It's gone. Is it a girl? <laughs> it's a girl. It's no not even there. Oh, darn. I missed something this <laughs> thing. Hey. There will be more conks tomorrow. Oh, yes, there will. <laughs> now that I've become a professional conka opener. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I, that's one of my favorites, conk critters. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what the conk pistol is? No. Tell me. I'm going to give you a guess. What is a conk pistol? Sounds like a penis. You're right. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, you guys. We're going to go back to... Are we going to cook conk critters on the boat or the beach? The boat? Okay. So we're gonna go back to the boat and fry up some conch fritters here in the Bahamas. Super excited. Ziki, Ziki down here. Hi, baby boy. He has been pawing at the water bowl, asking for water. So mama over here is giving Mr. Ziki some water. Yeah, right now we eat. have some chopped up conch that Steph went ahead and chopped up for us last night to get it all prepped for today. We have Cooking with Clams, Chef Will, his little secret conch um, mixture here. 
Um, I think, can we, can we share? Zeke is a little upset over there. He's knocking over his water bowl and food bowl right now. Can we tell them yeah. Chef Will's little secret? Yeah, definitely. All right, so it's actually like pancake mix. Aunt Jemima pancake mix. You add a little bit of paprika and sea salt. Good to go. And then we have our conch. So we're gonna go ahead and pour our conch in there. That's a lot of conch. I tell you what, one, two conch go a long way. Other recipes you can do with conch are conch fritters, which is what we're doing now. You can do conch salad, which is what we had um, the other day. You can do conch ceviche. Is conch ceviche and conch salad the same thing? No. It's not. And a little bit more. <laughs> I'm a little spooked with this oil on a sailboat right now. It's like rocking from side to mm -hmm. side. But I think we're gonna be good. So go ahead and get close. We're gonna mix. Yeah, we're gonna mix it up in here good. When you do your pancake batter, um, you add a little bit of water, and you want it like to be kind of sticky and cake-like. If you add too much water, you're gonna have to add more mix, and vice versa. All right. Her oil should be pretty hot right now. Now I've never cooked on this stove before, so I don't really know the temperature of the oil. So we're just kind of going to wing it. Hopefully we can cook these appropriately. You guys know I'm not a big fryer, so there we go. All right, Steph, come over here and judge me. <laughs> Are we just going to dollop that in there? Yep. Yep, exactly. Perfect. Beautiful. You get over there, Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, slow down. Slow down. Three. We don't have to inhale our food. I'm so I'm so intrigued by the pancake mix. I'm super, super excited. Now Captain Cole is going to go ahead and show us a little bit of a sauce that he likes to make for conch fritters. Alright, one more. Okay, so now, all right, use these. We need a tong. How can I do this? Ah, this is a little challenging. There we go. Oh, the oil might be a little hot. I'm gonna turn it down. Yeah, go that very one. low, lowest setting on that oh, yeah. one. That back one gets hot fast. So you see how these browned a lot? So we're gonna go ahead and turn that oil down. You want that golden brown like this one right here. another paper towel over the first batch just so the paper towel can catch any grease from the second batch and we have captain cole over here with our super secret sauce what do we got here i'm gonna make the traditional uh, pink sauce with a little spice to it it's a mayo base and we got mayo we have ketchup just regular ketchup ketchup and mayo yeah oh no it's uh i used to so a lot of people like use ketchup and mayo to dip their french fries in mm. and i was like ew no go, go so this the, is a thing this is a thing ketchup go and to mayo. europe and they just dip it in mayo uh, oh, uh, no. so you want that pink color i'm gonna get a little crazy and add some uh spicy mustard with some mustard seeds creole mustard it says that sounds pretty good just the mustard seeds give it a nice look. And you're also going to add some wine. Mustard seeds. Creole I'm mustard. A big mustard person. Well, See, this is good because I'm not a sauce person. I mean, sauces are super cool, but like growing up, I was never like dressing or sauces. Like, I just use like ketchup. Like, I was a ketchup on my steak eater growing up. Yes, I was. And I would say you can use a little sriracha or uh, 
hot sauce, just a little bit. Keep the heat. Keep the heat <laughs> down. Keep the heat down. Right. Normally a lot more would go into this if it was just me. More hot sauce? <laughs> more heat. Oh, so yeah, he's like, he loves like spicy and hot sauces. So right. Captain Cole has a YouTube channel as well with, um, as well as Stephanie, it's Captain Cole Harrison. And I'll put that on the screen here and in the description below this video as well. You wanna try it? Let's see. Moment of truth. It's actually pretty good. Like that's gonna go really good with that. Comforters, it's hard to beat. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good job. Good job, Cole. Another basic one is just uh, must, not mustard, uh, ketchup and uh, horseradish and lime. And that makes a traditional cocktail sauce. And that goes really oh. well too, but we don't have any horseradish. I think that is perfect for what we're using here. Cool. The spicy with the sweet pancake mix, I think that's going to be a hit. We're going to finish frying up the rest of our batter here, and then we will see you guys at the table where we're going to dig in. I'm really excited about these conquerors. Me too. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for them for like three days. All right, Steph and I are digging in. Everyone else is talking to family members and everything else on their phone right now. It's the last day we're here in the Bahamas. Cheers. <laughs> Steph, super badass, owns her own sailboat and her little dinghy, and she lives out here, living the dream. Good job, Kelly. That's so good. So good. Shout out Will for pancake mix. <laughs> Dude, pancake mix is Isn't epic. Isn't it insane? I'm double dipping. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the sauce? Mm hmm. <laughs> Shout out Cole for the sauce, wherever he is at. Have you had a better comforter though? Honestly, these are pretty good. I'm trying to find a better comforter. I haven't found one. I love these. Thanks, Chef Will. Right. That pancake it's mix is on another food. level. Yeah. Get over here, Matt. Try it out. It's good. Oh, and uh, you. the big <laughs> chunks of conch in there, mm -hmm. that makes it. Right? Mm. That's really good. That's dinner. Sauce so so and special pancake recipe. mix. Oh. To die for. You the know sauce what? is great too. You know what it reminds me of? A corn dog. No, oh, it does, yeah. Mm -hmm. With the sauce, I guess there's the ketchup in it. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Finn has a lot to say. Hey, that's really good. So good. Finn. Yeah. Yummy. Good that's job. Fun. Yeah. Finn, you want a treat? You guys, Captain Cole Harrison on YouTube right here. The chef himself with the secret sauce. <laughs> we got Miss Free Diver Steph over here. You're the only one left. <laughs> All right, here goes. This is a shot. This is it. Moment of truth. That's awesome. <laughs> Thumbs up. Mm. So good. And sweet. Mm -hmm. oh, did you miss that? Nope, got it. And we have a gorgeous sunset that it just went down. Literally, literally we're in the kitchen waiting for these confers to cool down and the sun went and just melted right into the ocean. You guys, we're gonna absorb our last night here in the Bahamas. We got the dinghy tied up. Look how crystal clear this water is. I mean, come on. I'm gonna walk to the bow of the boat with you guys. We have everything hanging up. All of our wetsuits, dive gear. From the past three days of diving. Finn, listen, Finn. If there's a boat that goes by, he likes to vocalize it for sure. Hi, Ziki boy. This is the bow of the boat. It is so peaceful out here. All right, one more look at the water. Just because you won't find water like this anywhere else but the Bahamas, for the most part. Four and a half foot. Mm. so beautiful out here all right you guys this video is coming to an end be sure to check the description below this video 
for anything I've mentioned and I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up and leave a positive comment below. See ya.